Hey, what's going on everyone? Today's the 26th of September, 2023. Here to give you an Ethereum alert because I've noticed over the last couple of trading days that buyers has been flocking into Ethereum around $1,560. Now, of course, when you see my chart, the price action that I expected the market to do in Ethereum didn't happen. So yes, my last price prediction was not right. The market immediately, pretty much after I completed the video, Ethereum went back down in price. We established that support into the market. I think it was going to be around 1630. You guys can see it actually exceeded that. Went all the way down to a low of September the 11th at $1,532. But if you notice, since that day, September the 11th, Ethereum has been making a slight trend. It's trending slightly higher. So first, what we're going to do is get rid of this last price prediction. It did not go right. Down 5.12% on, let me see what day was that on right here on August the 31st, or if you work out the market now in Ethereum, we're down 7%, okay? But let's talk about what we're noticing to the market in Ethereum first. I'm gonna take this line, and I wanna show you that the trend here in Ethereum is still bearish. So we're not gonna be drastically bullish into the market in Ethereum. Not one sense of the word, okay? We're gonna cool down, calm down, and actually look forward to the market in Ethereum to continue to trade in this direction, okay? This is the actual feel of the market more people are doing more people are selling than they are currently buying into the market in ethereum let's take a look at the market in Ethereum real quick on the two-day time frame okay and you all can see here that we did receive this indicator of weakness here this push to go down bar which is indicative that the market is still weak pretty much just like what we saw here in the market in ethereum now after we saw this indicator of weakness on this two-day price bar the market did not necessarily continue to go down you can see on these three two-day price bars, the market in Ethereum actually maintaining that price level, which is decent, which is good to see. But even within that range, this area is where the market sellers are. Okay, take a look. These three two-day price bars is letting us know that there's sellers at that level at this price, which is like sixteen hundred dollars. Are the buyers attempting to break this to the upside? Do you think that's the case right now? What about here on the three day chart? What about here on the five day chart? The five day time frame, I'm still seeing a lot of indication that the market is weak, especially on this last five day price bar. So even though we're kind of seeing the buyers trying to lift the price up, this five day price bar lets us know that they still have a big job ahead of them and they're really going to do it. Here it is on the weekly time frame. Look at last week into the market Ethereum. This is bearish. So yeah, we're starting off this current weekly price bar, even though it's not finished printing, it looks decent. It shows us that the market's trying to elevate and stay up. But this weekly price bar, the last printed one, is reflecting that the market is generally still weak. Here it is on the two weeks time frame, real quick on the three, real quick on the five, and the monthly time frame. Okay, so definitely you can tell that all of the hype, all of the fear, the FUD, the FOMO, it is waning in Ethereum. The market is looking for some type of catalyst to spur volatility to get the price to move because we're not really seeing a lot of indication that the market in Ethereum is massively bullish. Here it is on a one hour chart. You guys can still see here on this last one hour price bar that the market here in Ethereum is definitely getting hit with sellers. That's what happened the last time the market in Ethereum came up to this price. And this time, 330 minute chart. In the next 14 minutes, if the market in Ethereum looks this way, I'm still looking for price to drift down. I didn't say crash, I just said go lower. That means we need to identify, okay, at what price could we see the buyers hold? Because currently they're trying to hold the price here. Right now where Ethereum is currently trading at. They're trying to hold the market there. If they don't hold it here, then my next target for Ethereum would be around 1580. That would be my first target, 1580. Okay. So I'm, I'm looking at price in Ethereum going lower. Now, ultimately, I would say the last ditch effort for the buyers would be holding price around 1580. They need to do that. If they do, cool. Market may try to come up to this downtrend line. But generally, this cryptocurrency is not reflecting any strength right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to place some weakness into the market in Ethereum. 
my first target has already been established. I told you around like 1580 right here, which is only three quarters of a percent. It's not even a lot, but that's the area that I'll be on the lookout for to see if price really is going to stop going down. It would have to be right there. Then my second target for Ethereum will be on the low of yesterday, which is around like 1566. My third target would be on the low of September the 11th, which is around 3.81% move. Okay, so like I said, I'm not looking for anything drastic, but I would tell you another thing. As long as price in Ethereum really holds this area as resistance, then definitely our targets may need to be extended a little bit lower. Okay, so I'm just going to leave this right here for the time being. I really want to see how weak the market is. And if it continues to be weak, then we're already sitting in a pretty nice position looking for the price to go down. But if we see those buyers come in around 1580, then we might need to come in and readdress or reevaluate the situation to look for the price in Ethereum to go up. But that's it. I'm finished. Everyone else, give me your thoughts. Before you go, hit the like button. Should we also subscribe? Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.